Hey! That's good chat. Um... We are continuing Final Fantasy 2. After I make sure we're actually good to go. We are! I think? Let me refresh it. Just gotta make sure the stream is actually going. Got some frames! Well, that's not good. Only 43 frames. Alright, we are good, it looks like. Alright. Um so some things have happened very recently. Fizzbands! Fizzbands, whatever dragons came out. Uh that's cool. I haven't looked through it yet, I'll be honest. Um I don't know if it came out today or if it came out yesterday. I know it came out very recently. Um there's a lot of stuff in there. There's like a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, not so much on the player side, but a lot for DMs, which is totally fine and totally cool. Um, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in there from my understanding about dragons and kind of running dragons. Oh my god, hiccups. Uh, and dragons in your world and all that stuff. Um, and kind of some of the things you can do to spice dragons up. There's a lot of cool magic items. Uh, but they finally, they did two things that I, I have been wanting in 5th edition forever. They made another bow, even though it's not anything special, it's just an extra, I think, d6 of, of elemental damage, but still, they made another magical bow that's not just plus one, plus two, plus three, and the other one that exists that it does like nothing. And they made a monk item, finally! <laughs> it's like an actual real monk item now, it's a belt. Uh, I didn't look at what it does yet, uh, but I've heard it's, it, it's from from the little bit that I've heard about the book. Cause I was just watching the, the Dungeon Deeds video, um, kind of their first look before literally hopping in right now. So I don't know a whole lot, because again, I haven't really looked through it. Uh, I do own it on D&D Beyond, but I haven't actually gone through it yet. That's something I'll probably read through a little bit later uh, tonight. I'll just kind of skim through it more than read it. Um, but there's some cool stuff in there. Some some fun and interesting Bichiri entries. Some uh, some fun things you can do. Some some new feats that are a thing. A few subclasses. One of them, honestly, kind of cool. Drake Warden Ranger, pretty cool. Way of the Ascended Dragon Monk. It's, it's all right. It's not, not the best. It's not the worst. Uh, it's just kind of there, you know? It, I, I feel like it's kind of like, um... Like half of the monk subclasses, where it's like... It's just kind of... Eh, I'll play it. I don't feel like I'm hurting myself by playing it. It, it feels relatively normal. Um, but it's there. It's an option. It's not going to hinder you. Uh, but it's not going to do a whole lot either. Right? It's... It's kind of weird, from what I remember. When I, I mean, I read through the Unearthed Arcana version. I didn't read through the actual, officially printed one yet. So some of the, some of the changes they make might have been uh, a little bit more useful, but I don't really know. Uh, I wanted to see. I had a hard time finding the actual. There we go, magic item. I wanted to look through these items really quickly. I know there's a couple of really really cool ones in here. There we go, Dragonhind belts. Uh, two. Gain a bonus to saving throw DCs of your key features. That's cool. Uh, it's determined by the rarity. In addition, you can an action to regain key points equal to a roll of your martial arts die. That's really cool. That's nice. I like that. Can we have more? <laughs> um, there's some really cool items in there, though. There's like, um,. A, a gem something that you can get that's like a legendary item that lets you just literally get a free spell from any spell list that you just know now. Um, there's the gem that turns you into an adult dragon, which is really cool. Um, there's like a slight rework to Dragonborns, which I think is really cool. Uh, they did a really good job with them, from my understanding. They made they basically made it so that the type of Dragonborn you are actually matters a little bit. You get some extra little features 
for being one of the, the three kind of major types. Um, color still doesn't really matter, but I mean, it, it does to a degree, right? Because it gives you slight changes to stuff. Um, but you get some cool stuff. Um, I don't know about that. We've got a big, big section here. I don't know if it's going to be actually big, but it's going to be big in the sense that it's going to be a, a really big, big moment. Which actually, I'm going to look at the beach here really quickly. That uh, number 22 is still missing. Um, curious. I don't think that's people. Oh, I can type. <laughs> Be sherry. I want to see what 22 is. It is this thing. Where is this? I don't think we've been to either of these. Oh, I guess we have been to one of those locations, but it'll appear in another that we haven't gone to. Um... Oh, we actually won't go there because it's it's a thing that was added on the 20th anniversary. So I'm going to have to go back and get that thing then at some point. Possibly. It might. It, it, I guess it could potentially pop up somewhere else. Um... But again, I'm not like necessarily um trying to 100% the game as I've stated um many many times I'm just kind of like playing it you know like, I'll try 100% as best I can but I can't promise anything um I'm just curious what this thing, like, where this thing spawns in here. I already forgot what it was called. It seems like it's probably on one of the lower rooms. Or maybe not. Maybe we could go get it now, too, I guess. I feel like we don't have time. Um, What was this thing called? Oh, okay. Oh, it's on, like, every floor. Well... Okay, maybe not. Four or five of that place is, is the soonest we can encounter it. And in the treasure rooms, so that's cool, I guess. Um, I don't know if this is, like, a thing, like... If we, like... Have we, like, not actually gone here? Oh, you know what? I don't think we have actually gone here. That might be why. Let me see. Yeah, we haven't got there yet. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. That's why. Okay. Uh, sorry. I just want to make sure. We haven't. We haven't done that yet. Uh, I need my glasses. My, my gamer goggles, if you will. Uh, I want to not have my eyes hurt over the next three hours. So, <laughs> I've been forgetting to wear them lately. Uh, and it's been a nightmare. It has made my eyes hurt a lot. Um, highly actually, you know, like, I was skeptical, I'm not gonna lie, about the actual effectiveness of, of, of blue light glasses. Um, but after I found a pair, I 100% stand by it. It is, it is very true, it really will help. Um, obviously having incredibly extended exposure to, to screens will still have you feeling terrible, but at the very least, you'll feel less terrible. Because, um, like, my monitors are on eye saver mode, because I have that on my monitors, and even that's not enough. Like, that still makes my eyes hurt a lot. Um, having the glasses helps a lot, though. But anyways, get into it. Uh, so we've got a pretty big section here. We're going into a big one-time only area. We've obtained all the B-Sherry entries that we need to for now. Um, so, I'm tabbed out. Let me make sure, okay. Just want to make sure we're good. Alright. Um, everyone's full, and we rested up at the town. Item-wise, I'm gonna go pick up some more potions. Um, just really quickly. And then we'll go ahead and head out to where we need to go. Which is 
Oh, one moment. Thank you, Windows Explorer, for crashing on me for a moment there. I don't know what- that has not happened in such a while. Uh, I thought I fixed it. I guess not. Um, cool. Thankfully it doesn't cause any, like, real problems. It's just kind of annoying to deal with. Um, which actually, if anyone's wondering what the, what the issue was, I, I think, I believe, uh, it was Razor Cortex, of all things. Um, which if you don't know, Razor Cortex is, uh, a program that, you know, if you have Razor stuff, you can, I mean, I guess you technically don't need to have Razor products to use it. Um, but you can, you can have Razor Cortex on your computer and it will essentially just, oh, okay. Uh, it will essentially, like, limit things on your computer. Let's see, uh, not limit, but it, it will, it's designed to improve performance of things. Uh, we don't need to do anything, right? We can just go straight there. Yes. I will shut up about Razor Cortex. <gasps> oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, no, oh, we couldn't escape it. Oh, we couldn't escape it. We had a really bad angle on that. Oh, and now we're going in the middle. I'm, I'm sorry, Layla. We just literally crashed your ship. But where's Layla? Where are we? Leila? Leila's missing. We are inside the Leviathan. So, this is a one-time only area. Um, there's five chests here. I gotta get all of them. Because I will not be able to check afterwards. Uh, and there's nothing else in here is missable, so. <gasps> Alright, I mean, all of these we'll be able to deal with later on as we continue through the game. Um, spoiler alert. Ah, oh, nice! We get to deal with lava stuff. I guess acid, since we're inside of a leviathan? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Well, we have so much health. It's actually insane. Um, sure! We'll cast thunder. Oh, alright, cool. Looks like Streamlabs is back up and letting me see things. Cool. Alright. Whoa! That was cool. I like that animation. Yeah, you keep casting thunder. You hear our boy in, in Guy Smash. Um. Ooh, you're here almost throwing my controller. Another news, right? Divinity 2, right? I've been playing that. I've said it a couple times already this week. Um, that's a really cool animation. I like that. Uh, it's been quite fun. I've been having a good time with it. Um, I am like halfway, I think, through the first island. There's still a couple of things I have to do. But for the most part, I think I'm getting close to being done with, like, the first main section of the game. Which is always a good time. Oh. Um. But it's, it's, it's been pretty fun. Uh, my, my classes have turned out to be relatively interesting this time around. Twist headband. What are you? Oh, you can use it to cast sleep. All right, now it's just here. Oh. Um, sure. Okay, that going by fast is actually really satisfying for some reason. It feels like it hits so much harder. A power sash. 
Ooh. Guards against psychic ailment. Oh, guards against the. Okay. 25 defense. Let's take a look at the equipment then. So I assume these are going to be slightly weaker. I'm actually, I, you know what? I'm gonna give slightly better for Guy here. I'm gonna give him that. Um, and sure, we'll give him the headband too. Why not? Give him. He keeps that plus ten strength, which is what we wanted. Um, right, because we want him to just be the melee powerhouse that he's destined to be. Uh, and we really gotta make sure we pay attention to stuff. That is a disgusting door and I don't like it. Ah, there's people here. Uh, there is a chest up there. Okay, we gotta make sure we get that. Why did I do that? There's a lot of people here. Oh, don't mind me. Power armlet? Well, I think we know where that's going. Yeah, slightly more defense and evasion plus defense strength. That's worth it. Leviathan swallowed us all! Inside of Leviathan's stomach? How, why do you have furniture and housing here? The arrivals, eh? It's for you. Um. Um. Ah, so you guys were also after the ultimate tome when you got swallowed up. Well, since we're looking for the same thing, we might as well team up. There's a boat up ahead, but there's also one tough monster standing in our way. Who knows? I think we might be able to take it down. The Dragoon Ricard joined the party. Nice. We have a new party member. He, he is dark and mysterious. I really like his armor. Dang. Uh, that's technically better for you. I'm actually okay with him having that. Um, we might have a better spear. Um. Why did I think I had another spear? I might have accidentally sold it. It's okay. Uh, and then the air shield's the same thing, it just gives some resistance to fire as opposed to poison. I don't think that's going to matter right now. Alright, that's cool. I'm okay with that. What does he know? Does he know any magic? No. Um, you know, for a Dragoon, I kind of would have expected him to have a little bit of magic. Wow. You know what, maybe not. <laughs> I just suppose he had 5 MP. Yeah, I think he's going to- well, he's got 26 spirit. Alright. And 16 intelligence. He just doesn't have the MP, which makes me very hesitant to give him anything. So he's good with spears, and he's good with swords. Okay. Well, we could give him the wing sword, I guess, but I don't know if that's necessarily an upgrade from the flame lance. Yeah. Alright. He will keep his current equipment. Um, 10 years I've been living here? There's no way out. Sure of it. The sooner you get up and accept, give up and accept it, the easier it'll be for you. Python is the beast that protects the seal of tower of the tower. It looks like it's swallowed up anyone who has a crystal rod. See, I've got a crystal rod right here. How many of these crystal rods are there? I thought it was supposed to be one. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy. All right. Well, we have two more chests to grab, but we do have to grab them. One's right there, and one's right there. I guess we're grabbing them. <gasps> Combat? Let's see what Ricard's made of. He's got a very cool sprite. Okay, not... Not the biggest damage, but it's alright. I mean, he's coming in... Significantly weaker than everyone else in our party. The Gaia Blade, ooh. We'll have to check that out. I feel kind of bad for him. Alright. I I have a feeling... Ricard is probably our measure for roughly what we're supposed to be like. And, um... 
Yeah. Those HP values are wildly different. Like, insanely different. It's honestly kind of crazy that, you know, like, we get him now. Given how unbelievably powerful our party is. You know, honestly, if that's if that's what the Dragoons were like, it's still wonder he's the only one left. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's rude. But also 100 percent accurate. <gasps> Red Souls! Oh, that's right, these ones actually have like a decent amount of health. Oh, probably not enough. Thunder eight? I didn't have to think about that for a second. No. I know how to read. Ooh, diamond shield. Um, I mean, obviously we're equipping this stuff to... Uh, the power of Earth that is effective against grounded enemies? Sure! And you're taking the diamond shield. That's actually probably a good thing. Ever since the lightning. Alright. I wonder if that's the monster guarding the way. Yep, two or nine. I have a feeling of the things that'll be 16 here, it's probably going to be cure for for my spells. It's just so easy to level up cure when you use it in, in place of potions. Here it is, a round worm. I can pass this thing and we can get the hell out of here on that boat. Okay, Ricard. You're very cool, but man, are you weak. Alright. Then these two can just go ham. Honestly, thinking about it, dragons are like the paladins of Final Fantasy, aren't they? Right? Like... That, that sounds correct. I don't know if it is, but that sounds correct. Which means it probably isn't, and I'm just being dumb. But it sounds right. But well, everyone can just attack. I mean, honestly, we could probably put uh, Maria on heal duty, but let's be real here. The only per yeah, I was the only person she'd need to heal is Ricard. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sure. That's how that goes. Um, sick! We're getting, getting some stuff. Maria. Guy. 2,000 gil. Well, that was really tough. Before, before I escape, just to, okay. Just to double check and make sure. We got all five chests. Alright, cool. We killed a little, we, we, we made it out of the life, huh? Where did Layla go? That's what I want to know. Um. Okay. Well. Bye, right, Layla. Let's head in. That scenes. And now, we are in my City of Tower. 24 chests. And this, right here, will become a big moment for the game, for our playthrough. Because once we clear this dungeon, the world will not be the same. Man, what is it with enemies and popping up right next to a chest? That's what you get, man. That's what you get. Good job, Ricard. I guess. So clearly, since I didn't see that chest... There's one on the left side over there, okay. And then one on the center up here. Oh, A single werewolf! Goodbye! 
Have a good time. Oh, there's one up there too. Wow. I am blind, apparently. I did not notice any of these. Oh. That was a completely random guess. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you're just that good, though, you know? It's those epic gamer skills, am I right? I'm just the ultimate gamer. Uh. Uh. The room that has a spirit and guards against elemental attacks and status ailments. 30 defense, 26 magic, plus 10 spirit. Yeah, Maria can take that. It'll be setting this defense. And evasion. It's physical status elements, such as stone. Uh, nah, I'll take the white robe. That's that might be a bad idea, but it's an idea that I had. Oh, it's the hill gigis. Wonder how long he'll last now. Oh. Okay. Man, I remember that guy was, like, really hard to fight. Now they just kind of, like, die. You know. I think we might be a little overtuned. And we didn't even, like, grind. Like, actually, though. Like, we really didn't grind, like, at all. Uh, we grinded some spell levels, for sure. But, like, we haven't really, like grinded. It's not like the traditional sense. Not even like for money. Like maybe like a tiny bit at the beginning of the game, but we really haven't grinded like a whole lot if at all. Most most of it's just been running around through the dungeons. Uh getting a lot of a lot of stat gains from that because I'm dumb and miss things. Dang, lots of agility and a Three pair of giant's gloves. Oh, a flame bow. And a flame lance. He could dual wield flame lances. That'd be kind of cool. I actually don't know if he can. Um, Pretty has a... Oh, she's got a nice bow. Is the flame bow better? Probably not, right? Yeah. I'm sure we had a flame bow. Cool. The guy now has 4,000 health. Vampire girl? Man, that's crazy. Okay, bye. It was nice talking to you. Random vampire girl. Uh, so there's a door up there, there's a staircase up there. Well, I gotta check out the door. <laughs> Chimra! Cool. Honestly, I probably could just start spamming spells. Um, like, Furion could just start spamming like crazy. But... I won't. Not yet. Oh! Not these things again. I don't want to deal with this, man! I hate these things. Oh my god, and it didn't even kill them! Oh, well, we killed the one. Well, Ricard actually might have to do damage because he's got a fire weapon. Or not. That's fine. That That's logical. Wow, I really gotta loop all the way around like that? That's crazy. That... Ooh. Ooh, that sprite. Ooh, that sprite is gross. That's an ugly little imp. Like, actually disgusting. It's probably one of the grossest sprites I think I've seen in this game. Like, normally the sprites are relatively cool. Uh, they look nice. That imp. Ugh. Again with this. Ugh. 
again, a double again with this. I swear, this game hates me. No, it's just because Furion's magic isn't, like, high up enough. Hey, level... Seven? I think? I think that's what that is, it's level seven. Flame shield, cool. I feel like we're gonna be eating a lot of things that we don't care about. I'm not gonna lie. Murder, murder. Self-inflicted murder. Cool. Ricard gained some HP. Maybe, maybe Ricard will be able to catch up. You know? That's like the one thing that I hope for him is that he can catch up to our, our power. He probably won't. I don't know how long he's around for, but... I have a feeling he probably won't. Uh, let me just double check real quick, do a quick scan. We're good. I don't want to miss a chest again. Especially since I don't know if we can come back here. I don't, no, I think we can. Oh, I should do a quick double check. Oh. Sorry. Totally not minor spoilers of what is definitely a thing that's about to happen is. Um, that'd be weird. Don't worry about it. Oh, sick! Picador! My favorite! This one! Oh. This one! Oh. It's gonna be door number four. The furthest one. I hate this. I hate that I always know. Like, actually. Right, because <laughs> hear me out here. All right, the reason why I knew that, straight up, I was I was looking at it. And I was like, you know what? They're gonna make you walk through as much lava as possible, knowing knowing these old RPGs. And lo and behold, they make you walk through as much lava as possible. Wow, those things really do look ugly. Now that I'm looking at them more, ugh. I'm sorry that you had to be born like that. Yeah, flame sword. That's neat. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm like 99% sure Gaia Blade is probably better. Um. Yeah, we're just running through here until we're done with the area, really. So, it's really the only thing that we have for this section at this point. Oh, a flame helm. That actually might be helpful. No no joke. It is interesting to see a character that has less mana than Guy. Right, but that's, I mean, I guess that's because Guy starts as flat tens like everyone else of the, the primary party here. Alright. Already wearing flame armor. Um, Flame Helm. Higher defense, less attack. Wow, does the plus 10 from Giant's Helm really give me, like, 15 damage? That's crazy. I won't worry about it. I'll keep the... The attack power. Oh. I have a feeling I might be answering his riddles 3. He seems like the kind of guy to be a riddle man. You know? But first, I have to kill some Devil's Blooms. Then I can answer the riddles three. Ah, confusion! And also poison. Cool. Hey, Farian, good job. You leveled up your stamina. You made good progress, but you must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent.
thing, bro. It's kind of ripped, man. You you lift? You you been lifting, bro? You look, you look good, man. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. You know, what, what you benching? Like two fifty, three hundred? Tiny little wizard man turns into giant gigas. Yeah, unfortunately, the fire lance is going to be somewhat ineffective here. Uh, I would like to try a blizzard. I want to see how much it does. I don't have any reason to do it. I just kind of wanted to see. Does it do a lot? That's 48. Oh, okay, it died. <sighs> note's taken, note taken. Yeah, we're kind of just plowing through everything now, huh? Yeah, protect level up. That's cool. And Ricard got his spear and shield up. That's really cool. Well, I'm glad we, uh... Solved that puzzle. Uh, one, two chests, and then two different staircases up. I guaranteed one of those will take me to... some more things. Hi, Vampire! And Killer Montes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, nice shield. That... That would have been nice to have before. I would have really liked to have that. I guess you fire resistance. I kind of needed that. Oh, more stats. I didn't even pay attention. Ice gloves. Huh, I wonder if there's going to be an ice theme on this one. You know, we'll find an ice gigas at the end. I have no idea. I'm completely in the dark on this. I actually don't know. I'm making a wild assumption based on literally zero information. Uh, there's one more chest there. Okay. I want to make sure I grab it. Oh. These things are also ugly, but it's okay for them to be ugly. That's mean! Like, these are, like, ugly in that way that, like, they're supposed to be ugly. Wow. Incredibly rude. You, you still can't do anything about that, right? <gasps> you can! Yo, almost have Asuna 7, too. Imp. Dimpy dimpies. Okay. I have nothing nothing to say. Uh honestly. Well then I guess I could talk about divinity. Oh again with this. Honestly, I'm just happy their attacks on apply petrify and let's use gaze five to do it. It'd be really annoying if they're attacks did. But I've murdered a lot of people in Divinity 2. I wasn't trying to. Dang it! I knew it! I knew one of these stairs was gonna be for... Uh, for a chest. I should have known! I kind of thought it would be that one, too. Because that's the close one, right? It's, it, like, you never... Take the close one as the actual path. That's always a, a, a like for, for extra stuff. Alright. Yeah, Divinity's been been relatively fun. Um We did the wonderful Tomb of Brackus, that was fun today. Um My boy Thane has been getting pretty strong. Not really, but he's got some good spells. Um Ifen's been been a real MVP. Like, an insane MVP. Like, he is actually ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's another level 7 now. Um, and then I'm also using Red Prince, who has just been quite the tank. Uh, I never actually... So one of the things that I did is you can, you can choose to fight Griff. Uh, and I did. I fought him. I beat him up. Because I wasn't selling out the dragon, dragon dude. I'm not, I'm not a narc, right? I protect the people, I guess. 
So I did. Well, I beat up Griff. It, it was rough. It was actually really hard. Uh, we could give him the Ice Lands, but I won't worry about it right now. That is a lot of vampire girls. And now there are none. I don't remember if those mantises actually had any added effects on them or not. Um, and then my character, I'm doing, I think they call it Battle Mage? What was the idea? I, I think that's what Divinity calls it, it's Battle Mage. Um, so I'm, I'm, my character is just a human. I didn't care to do anything special with it. Um, so I've got two humans in, in my Divinity party. Normally I play an elf, but I decided this time around I'll just be a human. Um, not for any real reason. I, I just, I don't know. I was like, eh. I'll try something different. Alright, I'll, I'll be a human instead of an elf. Um, though elves do get some really interesting options in Divinity. Thunder. Um, because elves can, like, eat like, the corpses of, of people in, in Divinity lore to, like, gain their memories and stuff and learn about who they are. Which is really interesting and really cool. Um, not something I think I've seen in any other form of, of fantasy media. Um, that's a thing. That's cool. Um, but normally I, I play an elf, so I decided not to. I considered being a door, but I don't know. I didn't really want to. Uh, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of dwarves. I think they're alright, but I'm not like, I must be a dwarf. I honestly, I'm, I'm, I like elves. I play them an elf all the time in, in games like that. I don't know, something about them. I actually briefly considered being an undead, because being an undead is really cool in Divinity, but it also is very problematic. Uh, because you have serious issues with talking to people and selling things and whatnot as an undead. But I guess I could just, you know, have one of the party members be the, the quote-unquote salesman. That would have been fine. But, eh. It's a lot easier to just, like, manage my inventory and then just give everyone else what they need. Um, right? At least in my opinion, I think it's easier to run it that way, so I do. Heal Gigas! It'll be high roll this time. Cool. Dang. Unfortunate. Didn't high roll enough, apparently. Why did I even stop here? I should've just kept running through the ice. Cool. Um... I actually- I also considered being a dragon, but... Eh. I wanted to have at least some diversity. No way I 100% was going to take a dragon. Uh... Cause I kinda, I, like, I went in knowing exactly who I wanted. Like, I, I went in going, I'm gonna, take the, I'm gonna take these three. Right? So I briefly considered grabbing a beast instead of Ifen or, um, or someone else, but unfortunately... Beast is the exact same like, class that I'm playing, and so I would rather not be doubled up for Divinity 2 like that. Uh, you 100% can, there's nothing wrong with it, to my knowledge. It's just, I didn't want to. Alright, what is your Riddles 3? You made good progress, but you must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent. Alright, let me guess. Ice Gigas? Oh, you lift in tuba? How much? How much? Three hundred? Well, he ambushed on me. He also, he he don't miss leg day. You know he don't miss leg day when he comes in swinging like that. I 
Anyway. This is going to be an absolute slaughter. Ooh, a Blizzard 12. 50 damage. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I've been talking about this whole time. But AoE is just so bad. I can't tell if Fire 6 and 7 have different animations. I feel like 7 might have just a little bit more flair on it, but... I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Though Maria's almost out of mana, so... Hey, her Berserk went up, though. That's good. She's now tied with Furion on Berserk, so... She'll probably overtake the Berserk duties from now on, honestly. Um, I'm gonna spend some ethers on her. That's probably good. I don't know how many that was. Oh! Interesting. Uh, chest down there. Chest up there. Just scanning. I see we're playing Picador again. I do love me some Picador. I mean, like, if you ask me what my favorite thing to do in any video game is, it's, it's Picador, man. I love Picador. It's so fun. Especially when there's, like, no way of knowing what door you're supposed to go behind. I mean, I just love Picador. It's it's the best. Honestly, why don't more games do Picador? I hope my sarcasm is coming off. Uh... I don't know. Picador is, in my opinion, very lazy. Right? Like, there's no puzzle. That's the thing. Like, from, from a game design standpoint, there's no there's no puzzle. But the player just has to guess. And that that's it. And you punish them for getting it wrong. Like, haha. I mean, typically with Picador, the punishment is just, oops, wrong room. Right? But you're still punishing the player for not reading your mind and it's like why why are you doing that it's not their fault they didn't make a mistake you just didn't let them like experiment you know you, there was no indication that that was the door they needed to go in and then you punish them for picking the wrong door because haha you didn't read my mind that doesn't mean that there's not a place for pick a door um, 100% you can do Picador correctly. This game does not, but that's entirely because this game is extremely old. And as such, it has some really old design philosophies lingering inside. Which is honestly really unfortunate. Because, like, there's some great things in, in games from this era. Like, honestly. It's just unfortunate that some of them have some really big fails on the design side, but it's all just because that's just how it was back then, you know? Like, it's not... I, I shouldn't call it a fail. It's not It's not a fail. It's, it's exactly what games were. Right? Even, like, even Dungeons & Dragons. At, at this time was like officially published modules were very much not the way they are today right now it's like here's all these things that are going on in this story and these these characters back then it was like here's a dungeon there's a lot of traps make sure your players check for them and if they don't oops Rip. It feels bad. Uh, I don't know if that's fixed. I see. I mean, honestly, too, like, if you actually try to map out the layout of, of things like this, it can also be really confusing. Um, in a game like this, right? Because some of it genuinely will not make any sense. 
some of the layouts of like rooms and, and, and like dungeons and stuff, they will not make any sense. Wow, I why am I even bothering? Yeah, why did I even bother with that? Honestly? I was actually better off just not doing that. I was better off just swinging. God, I hate AoE in this game. Doesn't feel good. I think that's what makes me the most upset, is that it just doesn't feel good to do, you know? Like, it's so unfortunate that that's the case. Because it really is, like... Like, they're always supposed to be good. I mean, Drain will probably be, like, terrible. Yeah, I kind of forgot about those guys, I'm not gonna lie. It do be like that sometimes. Like, I don't know. I could, I could continue to harp on AoE in this game forever. I'm not going to, though. Um... Game design, though, right? No, I, it really was like that, though. Back, back then, in this era. Like, like it was a very different time for, for video games. I mean, just gaming in general was, was very different. Um, ah, okay, we'll just bring him back then. But a lot of it, like, especially with, with video games, right? Super Nintendo era, I want to say, was still relatively around the time that, um, like, arcade era design was still being practiced. Like, it was slowly starting to phase out in the Super Nintendo era, but... I mean, Super Nintendo also saw a lot of arcade ports. Which did not help with that. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm referring to when I say arcade design, uh, I mean arcade games, like literal cabinet games, right? Where the design was, how can we take your quarters? And that was just it. Like, that's literally how games work for the arcades. It was, how many quarters can we take without making it seem like we're cheating? And that's just how it was. And you can see that in a lot of really old games. Where they have that, that philosophy pretty clearly, too. Of, uh... We're just going to kill you over and over again, and not tell you anything. Um, and you just have to learn. You, you just have to know. And if you don't know, that's on you, man. That's not on me. We gave you all the tools. Wow. Why am I even trying this? <laughs> like... I hate these stupid flames. Hey, Maria handed intellect, that's nice. Man, I mean, that's just... That's how things work. That's why a lot of those games were so hard. It wasn't because they were actually hard, it's because they didn't tell you anything. Because they wanted to take all of your money as quickly as possible. Without mm -hmm. seeming like they were doing that. Wow! This is so unfortunate. That was really bad. Alright. You know, despite the fact that we're basically invincible, we're also not. Why am I even bothering with that? Why am I even doing it like that? I gotta stop. She's chucking through mana now. Hermes shoes. Oh man. Uh, 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 items. Uh. Oh, it's just haste the spell as an item. All right, pick it, our time. Nope. I was wrong. 
How dare I? How dare I be wrong? What's wrong with me, you know? How dare I not know what the game developers wanted me to do there? Uh, I'm kidding, by the way. I don't actually care that much. <laughs> I'm, I'm being hard on it for no reason. I just think it's fun to, to poke at. Really, uh... What's the word? There's a word for it. I mean, archaic is definitely a word, but it's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for a different word. Um, but I, I just think it's fun to poke on it. I like the, the game design of this era of games a lot of the time. Because it's it's really different than today. It's so different. Like, honestly, I think the only time you would ever see a dungeon designed like this in today's kind of day and age of gaming, it's probably like an RPG Maker game. But RPG Maker, unfortunately, has a really bad rap. Uh, RPG Maker games get a really bad rap. That it's entirely because, and it's somewhat warranted, I guess. Um, but it's entirely because most of the people making games with RPG Maker, right? Like, are people that got it on sale for like fifty bucks and decided that they're gonna make a game. They have no experience. They don't know balancing or progression systems and how to make those feel right and feel good. All they know is, I played a couple of Final Fantasies when I was a kid, and I like those games. And so they try to make one, and they don't, you know, they don't think as far ahead as, as the developers of those games did. Um, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. That's not, I'm not saying that, how dare they, right? It's hard stuff. There's, it's really hard to know what is and isn't good in those situations. Because it's 100% a bad progression system can be good in the right game that is designed around that terrible progression system. And, like, that's just how it is. Like... I mean, like... Cause you'll, you'll get things, like an RPG Maker, sometimes you'll get things that are like... You know, someone will take, like... The D and D stat system, but try to put it into like a Final Fantasy game, and it's like that's not. Those are two different systems. They do not combine well together. Don't do that <laughs> unless you really have a good idea for it, and you know, like, and you spend a lot of time and effort working on it. Otherwise, it's just not going to come out great, and people are not going to have fun. All right, are you? Are you? Uh. Earth. Earth Gigas. Earth Gigas. You made good progress! Oh, wow. Am I right, or is it air? It might be air. Wonder Gigas! Dang it. I was wrong. Alright. Go crazy. Wait, I, I just realized I don't have the haste spell. I didn't even get that! That smells great! What do you grant him, guy? Thunderbolt 12! See, that's what I'm talking about! See, that did like 3 out of 11! If he did it in we it would have done like 50! It's crazy. Honestly, I think the thing that really bugs me about it is it, like, it's so clearly disproportionate. Um... Like, AoE clearly does less damage overall. And that's what bugs me the most. Uh, so Thunder would imply yellow. So I'm gonna try Blizzard here. I have no reason to believe that this will be strong. It wasn't. I have no reason to believe that it would be. I was just kind of gone off of the slimes. See, look at that! That does so much damage! That's crazy good. That's such a powerful spell. 
Okay, well, maybe not against Tyrion. Oh, okay. That was the hardest one yet. He actually got to play the game for more than a round. It's crazy, man. Alright, a card! You're already almost caught up to the weapon proficiencies. And we got a Flare Tome. That's nifty. I guess. Man, this place is huge. Oh, sick! Man. We heard you like Picador. Here's a hallway. Have fun. Uh, again, I kid, I kid. I, I am not upset at all. I don't care. I just think it's fun to, to poke fun at this stuff. Oh, this is gonna go terribly now. This is horrible. I really should focus these death flowers. They're actually kind of insane. Look, we're just we're just boosting stats, that's all. That's all it is. It's just some stat boosting exercises. See, look, she's boosting her stats. And we're boosting Fury in stats as well. Right, I have the Phoenix down now. Unfortunately. Uh, I think we have a bunch of them though. I'm just gonna spend both. Maria doesn't have enough uh, mana, I don't think, here. Wow, we're at Cure 10. That's almost, that's almost cast. Ugh, I want the chest! No. Anyways. <gasps> Stop! Why are you like this? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't do the- What? <laughs> what? Ah oh, no, man. No, bro. What is he doing here? Why is he in a chest? Explain. That dude was a literal boss. This Godos thing? Literally a boss. Previously. He was previously a boss. We killed him. Now there's two of him. Just inside of a chest in a random tower in the middle of nowhere. Now the confusion is gone. I mean, we're still gonna just shred through him. Honestly. That's just kind of what we do. Well, Ricard's almost dead. That's okay. We got out of there. Hey, he has more health again. Bacchus's wine. Wow. A flare tone? I mean, that's kind of worth it, though. Um, Maria's so low on MP. Alright, more. You know what? It's worth it. It, it's honestly worth it. Alright, spend Cure 10 on Ricard. This actually does a lot of healing, by the way. I'm impressed. Alright, and now they just go top to bottom. Okay. Ambushed! Oh, actually, I should target. There's a Death Flower here. I should make sure. Wow. After that, we don't really care. It's really just a death bar that needs to die. Alright, cool. Hey, Jackpot! <laughs> oh, man. What's I going on about? I got sidetracked. I, I got sidetracked by the Godos. Oh, yeah, RPG Maker games and how most of the people that make them don't have any... Uh, 
I don't necessarily have any idea of what they're doing. They have an idea. They just don't have, like, the knowledge behind game design to really make it everything they wanted it to be. But that's fine. That's just how it is, right? Like, you know, if you don't know how to make a proper RPG game, you're not going to be able to make a proper RPG game. That's just how it is. You need to have that knowledge. Um... All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I am 100% going to look up a map. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, what's this place called? Lysidian Tower. Okay. I just want to make sure there's not anything inside those other rooms. Once we're there. Math. Oh, man. Was there like a chest thing on here? Items. Okay, there's just the one. We're good. We can just go before. Just wanted to make sure. So there should be three more. And one of both. I guess technically one of them's not an actual. Yeah, okay. There should be. So there's four more items, but one of them's not in the chest. Okay, we have another Picador, because we haven't had enough of that. Ambushed! Stop, dude. I'm sick of this! Stop stoning my people! What did he deserve that, huh? What, he look at you funny? Well, we about to murder you now. Whoops. That's okay. Alright. Wow, we found a cross. But both of things to find. You know? Like, that one's just kind of like, huh. Alright. It, it do be like that, I guess. Alright, let's, let's keep going, I guess. Man, I feel like... Alright. People can correct me if I'm wrong here. I know people will. Um, but I feel like the encounter rates in this game are so high. I don't know if it's just higher in, in the remaster, or if Final Fantasy II just actually has really high combat rates. Because I 100% feel like we're in combat literally like every 20 steps. Ah, monsters. It's a white dragon! Oh my god, that actually hurt! Uh, I will assume it is an ice dragon. Which is an assumption that I am making. Door X. 8.15, not bad. Okay, let's, um... Let's get those up. You know, okay. On one hand, I think it makes a lot of sense for the spells to cost as high of a level as they are. But on the other hand, honestly, I kind of wish that wasn't the case. Like, Ice Storm 16. Well, I was right, it is an Ice Dragon. It's also a dead dragon. Okay, hearing his fire level though. That's cool. Um, I feel like it shouldn't quite be that high. Got an ice bow? I mean, he's already wearing an ice bow, though, right? Yeah. Um. But, like, I feel like it should be, like, slightly. Oh, I messed up. Slightly diminishing. Not diminishing, but. Right, like. Pale. 
a little bit instead of just being one to one have it be like plus one mana every other or you know or have it be like somewhat exponential in growth i'm not actually exponential right but like you know like level one it's one level two it's still one level three it might still be one and then it goes up to like two for like two levels and four for a couple of right i mean i guess it is literally exponential growth but my point stands I think that might make for a more interesting experience with these spells and not make them feel so terrible to use sometimes. Hourglass. Let me guess, item that casts stop time? Yeah. I mean, I keep saying it's stop time. I don't actually know. Like, no, not cast time. All right, cool. <gasps> It really does feel like the encounter rate is so high in this game. But that's fine. Right, if that's... If that's how this game's gonna be, that's how it's gonna be. But it does, it does feel really high. I've, I've kind of noticed it in general, like, it feels like... Every 20 to 30 steps, we're getting an encounter. Which is... Again, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Confuse 16. Why does it know that? Like, of all the things to know, why that? Looks like how it's chocobos. Well, this is gonna be a bloodbath, and not for the right reason. Okay. We're gonna be casting a lot of cures here. But first... Alright. Oh man, this is so expensive on mana. Okay. No! It's more imps! Oh well. That's how it is. Yo, get racked? Yo, get double racked? Yo, you suck. These imps are trash. Uh, anyways. Oh, all right. Hear me out. Door number three. All right, door number three. That's that's my prediction. It's door number three. That's that's the door. Dang. Well, if it's between two and four, then it's always four. No questions asked. Man, Ice Storm 16. Oh wow, that actually did a decent amount of damage. That Ricard might die. Well, that's really been an issue. I mean, well, it has been an issue. He's died a lot already. He's just so weak compared to the rest of the party. I mean, it's very late in the game to get a new party member. Okay. It 100% is door number four. There's no way. I've never been wrong twice in I mean, I actually haven't been wrong until just now. It's actually door number two. I'm tilted. I'm so angry. Why is it door number two? Like, for what reason is it door number two, you know? Like, who picks door number two? I mean, I guess depending on how you want to look at it, this could be door number three. <laughs> Making me right the first time. No. Alright. So, we have all the chests. So, uh, that guy's blocking our path a little bit. Um, well, we'll spend some potions here. Die om is already almost at 5,000 health. What is your stamina, dude? 
No wonder your stats are insane! 66! Blows a tank! I've been waiting for you, Therian. Though I've managed to reach this seal, the magic binding it appears to be extremely strong. I will concentrate every bit of power I have on the door. If it is enough, the seal should shatter. Everyone stand back. You got this, Minwoo. I believe in you. Yeah, hit it with that Kamehameha. Oh, he actually did. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> oh my god, Minwoo. Minwoo! Go. Through the door. You must. Take Ultima. Do not grieve. This. This was my destiny. Minwoo! No! We will do this. In your name. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It's not. Huh. The crystal responds. It was so upon the sparkling clarity of water. Your intellect increased. Oh, I'm smart. Crystal responds. I bestow upon the the swiftness of brisk winds. Your agility increased. Oh, I'm fast and smart. The crystal responds. The power of the burning flame. My strength increased. Now I'm fast, strong, and smart. I think this one's not health. Crystal sounds. Oh, it's probably gonna be, uh. uh stamina. Oh, so upon the, the quiet solitude of Earth. Duh! My spirit increased! That's not what I thought it would be! Huh. Duh! Flashing light warning. The crystal responds I bestow upon the. the ultimate magic! You obtain the ultimate one. Oh, and you also gave me the way out. Thanks. I appreciate that. Alright! We did it. We did it. That was the big that was the big quest. We did the big quest. The world is now forever changed. It, it might have actually not taken effect yet, but um it is changed. Oh, nope, it is officially changed forever. We did it. We changed the world. Literally. Uh, it's not for the better either, though. It's actually just a much more dangerous place now. Uh, like, incredibly dangerous. Everything is now significantly more powerful. And that's just the life we live now. But... So, we gotta go to a couple of places here. Well, not really, we gotta go to one place. Obviously. Tsunami 8. Thunder! This is good, though. This is good, though. We can play catch-up really quickly. With some of our, our weaker spells, hopefully. I, I actually, well, maybe not. Let's based on your spell casts. I believe you'll also notice that uh, I don't even I don't even see it. You'll notice on the map that there are some missing yellow dots now. It's sad, I know, but that is unfortunately what happened. Those cities are gone, literally. They're, they're just destroyed. What's that's, that's why I had to double check and make sure I got the one chest and the item in Altair, because if I didn't, 
Uh, I literally can't. So, I just wanted to make sure. We're good, though. We're good. Yeah, look at this. Wear Panthers now, Sorcerers, Sergeants. Like, all the baddies are out to play now. Ah! Oh, three. That's my favorite spell. Why can't I learn that spell? A toad tome. Two of them. Yeah, me there. Even this place. It's just gone. It's not there anymore. There's nothing. Only death. But hey, we changed the world. Or something. I never said it'd be for the better. Just that we would. And we did. We didn't stop the question if it was the right thing to do, though. Because honestly, it probably wasn't. But it's too late now, so... This is just life. It sucks. Alright. Um... <laughs> oh. We are now in Finn. We need to talk to somebody. But first, we will rest. Everybody's dead. Well, dang, bro, you didn't have to say it like that. Um, I don't think I go here yet. I don't remember. Even if we had an army of you, it wouldn't help us this time. I think we fight a cyclone. Cyclone. What? Just what? What is this? I've never heard of this thing. This this ultimatum? This item? I don't know what that is. Oh, hi! I saw that. I believe Hilda, if I remember right, yeah, Hilda's like the princess and or queen. Right? Oh! What are you doing here? The storm kicked up and the ship went down I got separated from me? I thought you were dead for sure! It's good to be wrong now and again. Cool. Hi, Hilda. The Emperor's found magic and control even the winds. Oft, Bloom, Altair, Gatria. Each was destroyed in turn. And now the Cyclone heads for Finn. Cyclone? The Emperor himself is controlling the Cyclone, I have no doubt. Okay. Um. Thank you. I gotta go find- I gotta go find a room. I gotta go find a room. There's a room I need. I need to go to a room. I know where the room is, I just- I gotta know how to get there. Oh, no. Oh, it's a secret room. We're not supposed to know about it. Oh, it's a secret. We're gonna get the secret! Actually, this is kind of a secret thing. Like, I don't know how you would know to do this. I feel like we have not had any indication of this. Oops, not that. Uh, Pendant. Mirror absorbs the light emitted by the Pendant. More flashing light warnings, apparently. The image of a young wyvern shimmers in the mirror. The last wyvern egg has finally hatched. The wyvern is speeding towards Finn. Fade to white. He is very tiny. He looks way bigger on the map. I mean, all these flashing lights. Wyvern and Dragoon are together once more! Cool.
I can't believe we kill him so. Uh. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we gotta go talk to Paul again. Now that we actually know what the word cyclone is. Hi! Oh, uh, oh, uh, duh, oh, uh, cyclone. You're not planning to go into that thing. This is insane, right? Tell you what, I'm gonna keep it a few things stashed away. I want you to have them. Try feeling around the wall near my bed. That's. I don't. Okay. Well, would you look at that? A ruby curious. Black garb. Deep's gloves. Gold. Elixir. Gold hairpin. Silver curious. And last. But honestly, most importantly. Blood sword. I'll just go ahead and, um. Uh. Ooh. Interesting. I will actually not look with that. It's very important to have, though. We'll see why later. Um. But that is a very important item. I may have skipped ahead a little bit in the guide at one point and, and saw that that's a thing that I will definitely need. Um. It will all make sense. If you have no idea what's going on, don't worry. It will make sense. It's crazy that those have better defense than the actual armor that I'm wearing. Uh... I think I'd rather him just continue to have an incredibly high attack, if I'm being honest. Mr. Ricard here, though, can take the black garb. That's fine. Turns gloves. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, actually, maybe we should give him better defense. Yeah, he doesn't need to be a, a damage powerhouse. He's really not going to be anyways. He's not going to be able to keep up with Guy or Furion. Just on the sheer principle that they've been around for way too long. Alright, thank you, Paul. I heavily appreciate all of that free stuff you gave me. Uh, most of it is honestly kind of worthless, but... I do appreciate it. Alright, we're all rested up. We're all equipped up. We're almost ready to go. Uh, I don't quite care my water bottle just yet, but I'm going to go get it preemptively. Because I will need it in a moment. I will be back very, very shortly. Uh, and we'll, we'll jump into that giant tornado. We got 13 hours on the save file. That's crazy. I'm just going. I can't actually see the audio preview thanks to the crash that happened earlier. So I'm hoping I can be heard. I don't know if there's actually a way for me to fix that without just actually closing. I guess I could pull up the mixer. That might help. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Like, like I know there's a way I can like look at it and like see the levels. I don't remember what it is, though. There's a spot that I can do that. Uh, it's fine. I don't need to see that I'm able to be heard. Why would I need to see that? 
You're fine. All my microphone could have been muted this entire time. It's not. It could have been, though. It could have been. Anyways. I've got 13 hours in here. Look at that. 13 hours and 29 minutes. In fairness, like, I was 22 minutes now. Some of those minutes are just sitting around doing nothing um, and looking at things. But that's okay. So, that is a big, big chunk of missable stuff, though. That, that Paul stash, Paul's stash, if you will. Uh, the Paul stash. It's incredibly missable. Alright, well, we're gonna head into the cycle. We're gonna jump into it. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but... That's the plan. We're gonna go into that and just kind of go from there. There's a wyvern in there, so... Let's do it. Oh, okay, I guess he's not in there. This is really cool, by the way. This is a fact. I have a feeling on the original game, it was probably not nearly as epic. Alright, we're in the Cyclone. There are seven chests. We literally have to get all of them. We're not coming back. <gasps> oh, wow. It's no longer vampire girls. Now we have a vampire lady. Oh, dang, she actually lasted a lot. Oh my god, she's got a lot more health than I thought she would. Oh, okay, and the vampire girl did nothing. That's okay. Wow, that's a lot of money. Uh, chest. Another staircase up. Oh, boy. This is going to be a mess to get through, isn't it? Like, this is just going to suck for me to do. Charm 6. Why would you do that? That's really mean. Why would you charm him like that? Ripper? Oh, it's a dagger. Alright, cool. Uh, that's nifty, I guess. Oh no. Okay. All right. We'll see how long that lasts for. Beautiful. I hate this. Oh, and he finally gets hit. Oh, okay, and hit. I think these things normally miss a lot more than they are. But these guys are popping off right now. Cool. Uh, uh there's another chest here? No. We got six more. Hi, Snake Lady. How are you? You doing good? That's great. Well, it's nice meeting you. Uh, all of this was for a chest. Okay. That's fine with me. I wonder if this hurts. Alright, Royal Guards. Man, these guys look real tough. Crazy. Anyways, <laughs> poison axe. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm interested. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Ah, I'm interested. Oh, it does 200 regardless. Uh, we'll put on the offhand then. Actually, picking a primary hand might be better. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It never mattered. Pog. 
Let's go, dude. Got that Pog Champ shield. Uh, wait, better go back down to floor one. You know, I'm starting to understand why you would want the uh, the black magic spell now. Right, the the black magic teleport that instead sends you up a floor. That'd have been very handy. But yeah, actually, I would have used it so many times already. This looks like a fun encounter. Ooh, especially after that high rolling. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. Okay. The next time Guy levels up, he will have 5,000... Well, not levels up, but the next time Guy gets health, he will literally have 5,000 health. I am not kidding. That is actually insane. I mean, like, we're... We're winding down into... Or not winding down, but we're... we're Pulling up to the the big finale, you know, like actually, after this, there's only two more sections. Straight up, but I'm not I'm not lie. There are two more things to do after we get through the cyclone, and that's it. Then the game's done. We've beaten the game. Um. So, we will be approaching the end soon. Uh, great. I'm going to assume the close one leads to treasure. I hate this. I, I hate this. There's nothing about this that I'm like, I want this. All of this is gross and disgusting. I'm surprised those don't apply any kind of statuses. Those amoebas. They look like the kind of creature that would. I let that thing ran away as well. I was right! That's the thing, right? Sometimes you can notice patterns in these games. And that's a pattern that I had noticed. RIP! Oh, and Guy now has 5,000 health. Officially. He officially has 5 grand, or 5k health. Not 5 grand. I mean, technically 5 grand, but... That's not... Oh, I'll do that. I'll sacrifice Furion's damage. He's not really, like, the super heavy hitter. He just hits okay. He hits way harder than Ricard, though. But nobody's gonna beat Guy. Dang, Maria now has 50 strength. Hey, Diamond Gloves. Honestly... I think it's time to make Furion more tanky. I was trying to think I should give Ricard his second spear. Just for these Cockatrice fights. It would really help. I wonder if I have the Mars music playing again. That's cool. Why are you just a normal enemy? That is really bad. Well, of course it didn't cure the confusion. Of all the things for it to cure, it, it, it would be the one thing we need to make sure we... To, uh, okay. Imbibe. Okay, this thing should be dead now. Right. Now I just have to make sure we don't lose Maria to our own dude. I don't know if I'm bother setting up. I don't think we really need to. Okay, chill, guy. Why are you like this? Huh? Why did you do that? You didn't have to kill her. There was no reason for that. Oh, and now he has way more stuff. Hey, a haste tome. Okay! Um... 
That was, that was gonna be a way at the bottom, huh? I was wondering about that. What am I gonna do with this? Oh, the alt of- oh. I feel like Maria should get it. I'll give Theory in haste. Anyways, so I have the Phoenix down now. Uh, I'll just have her cast Cure, like, a couple times. And she's basically full health. Cool. Cyclone. Uh, yet again, I'm going to assume the close one is probably for a treasure. We use... I lost track. I think we have three more to go. Yeah, three more. Also, I'm pretty sure we got four. Wizards! Okay, bye! They fought valiantly. I found two of the three. I think we should probably start boosting. Haste and, uh, an Ultima right now. Dang, level 1 Ultima does 231 damage, that's crazy. It's like as much as Ricard is swinging for. Like, actually. That spell literally... Oh, a second Poison Axe. Alright, guy. You're all geared up. I did not mean to do it like that, but that's okay. <gasps> no! Whoa! Interesting that he puts people to sleep. That's pretty cool. Goodbye. I don't know if I understand why he does that, but sure. Alright. The sword. Yes, please. Oh. Alright, we'll be a little bit more targeted with this. Thing. That actually does do a decent amount of damage, but that's crazy. I mean, using fire is honestly probably the right play to kill this thing, but like, I don't know. I want ultimate level. level. If you went through a whole quest to get it, you know, might as well like boost it, right? Look at that, now it's leveled up. So is haste. And Ricard is slowly catching up on the health department. Monsters! Oh. Okay. Cool. I'll be honest, I am not threatened. I am significantly more threatened. I I take it back. I am threatened. I am sorry. I did not mean to insult you and your kind. Please spare me and my friends. That would be very appreciative. But also, please die. It do be like that. There we go. Hey, life leveled up. 
And so did Spear. Finally. Good job, Ricard. You're doing great. Diamond Armor! Yo! Let's go, dude! We're all decked out! Looking like a real Minecraft professional. Uh, sometimes I, I make myself laugh from the stupidest things. I have a very dumb sense of humor sometimes. Just like really stupid things will make me laugh. Case in point. Uh, right there. That, like, that's just dumb. There's nothing funny about that. Doesn't mean I don't think it's funny. Wow. That thing got bodied. That was a real GG's shake my hand. Dang, bro. Absolutely slaughtering. Oh, dang, two wood golems? Okay. Uh, we're gonna actually do this. No, we probably should. Oh, yeah. Because otherwise, this is going to be a real pain. So I'm going to actually just burn them alive and go all in on this. There we go. Hey, your card should level up too. And Fury now has 3k health. He gains more mana. You'll love to see it. Dang. The treasure is actually on the outside. Um, which means this is all just pick a door for nothing. More than likely. So maybe through this electrified field for no reason. SMH, dude. What was the point, dude? I don't know why I'm saying it like why I'm saying dude like XQC. He has like such a very particular way of saying dude though. It's it's really funny. If you've never heard XQC say uh or just XQC speak, that's literally like, I'm I'm sorry, XQC, no no shade being thrown, but like Literally how he says it. He goes, good. It's, it's so funny. It's just it's just funny that he has like such a like you can just say that and, and people will know. People will know. They'll know. They'll be like, hey XQC. What up, bro? I just think that's funny. Uh yeah, we're gonna go down and then we gotta go back up through the other oh my god. Through the other staircase. Right, this this one we can just Hit the autoplay button. Dead. Dead. GG shake my hand. Alright. So our final chest is on the outside. Outside ring of the next floor. Another one of these? We're really, we're really doing this, huh? We're really gonna keep doing this. Okay. Um. I mean, honestly, I was like, I'm looking at it. This might not be the last thing we do. It will probably be. Just, just for the sake of, like, being done, and like ending on a, a relatively solid note, um, but, uh, I mean, I think we'll, we'll push through a little bit, um, I don't want to get through like the whole section. At least, is what I mean by that. Uh, I'll just go this way. It doesn't matter which way I go. 
technically this is probably the better way to go. Just because it's the way the stairs was faced? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It's all the same. I'm not a speedrunner. I mean, I could be. I, I could speedrun this game. I have speedrun other games. Very briefly. Um, and there, are, there are games that I do want to speedrun. I want to speedrun Mega Man actually badly. I think it'd be a lot of fun to speedrun. It just seems like such a great time. You know? It's also just one of my favorite games. So it's hard to not want to, you know, speedrun it. Because I love that game. It's so good. Genuinely one of the best games ever made. I digress. That's not really important. Right, how, how great Mega Man X is doesn't matter right now. Oh dang, I was hoping this wasn't going to be a monstrous one. Oh, it's a dragon! Okay. Um, we'll just deal with a round of poison, that's okay. Ooh, I hope Guy's axe is not a problem here. It very well could be. Okay, it's not. Oh my god. Uh, I would say that, right, because green dragons are typically poison dragons, right, and he's got poison axe, so I don't know if it would just absorb the poison. Uh, but it looks like it doesn't matter. Oh, we'll get that poison out of here on us. Man, haste really does give a big damage boost. Sure. Throw ultimate in there. But I do want to boost it, right? So I might as well just start spamming it more and more. Because the more I get to cast it, the better. We will keep rocking with haste. Seems like doing a decent amount of damage for for what Ultima's worth. It seems like it's okay right now. I mean, it's a little bit better now, too, so that'll help a lot. A wind flute. A flute that summons a cyclone. I can tell you right now we're gonna elixir problem that one up. And I will never use that. <laughs> Because when it comes to these games, I am a hoarder. I don't use anything. So you revived the wyverns and now here you are. What you are but an insect, unworthy even of being crushed under my foot. Oh. Oh, oh we're, we're doing it? This seems like it's... not that difficult. We've already killed a bunch of these. Like... That, that's all you're throwing at me? Really? Alright, boss cleared. Uh, let's move on. GG's, shake my hand. So you some skill after all. Gonna see how you manage against this. Uh-huh. Can we, can we speed this up, dude? Look, haha, -ha, I'm evil. I have all these royal guards. Ooh, watch me be evil. Haha. -ha. Can we... Like, can we just skip it? Come on. Let's go. Just fight me. Quite extraordinary, really. It would appear I've sorely underestimated you. We should consider that I am about to do you a great honor. I shall kill you personally. Okay. Thank you. I got- oh. That is an interesting sprite. And also, wow, he's a cheater. Like, I also could have just been incredibly unlucky. 
But that's crazy. Uh, I don't think I can stop the sleep with Asuna. So I'll just cure the poison. Uh, guy? Go to town. We'll cure the poison now, and then we'll we'll start ramping up. Her car's just gonna chill. They don't need him, honestly. Oh, and now Fearin's asleep. I will try a boss in that. Well, no, let's get the Berserk down, I think. It'll really help the damage. This mad lad just elixir when I haven't hit him. What a what a nerd. Okay, that'll wake them from their slumber. Alright, I'm curious to see how absurdly wrecked this dude's about to get. Because it's gonna be really bad. He's talking all this game, and now watch him die. Watch him die. And... Yep. <laughs> uh, we might be a little overtuned. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh. Alright. Hey, Fearing got some health, that's cool. I gained the agility. Oh, we got an elixir to that. That was nice. No! I will not die. Dies. Haha, uh -huh, XD. Oh, actually, he do be dead, though. Okay. Bye. Bye, bro. It's over. We did it. We should get back to Finn, they'll be waiting. Well, we did it. You beat the game! No. Unfortunately. For your efforts, we finally defeated the Emperor, thank you. The world was shrouded... ...was shrouded darkness, but now peace lights its way or whatever. Kyrian, Maria, Dai, Picard. What more could we ask of you? Tales of your bravery will be handed down for generations. Now, let us celebrate. We have come hoping to catch a glimpse of the heroes who brought down the Emperor. I didn't want to disappoint them. We didn't have a card. I mean, yeah, he was there. I guess. We never found Leon, did we? Wait, I'm thinking about it. I don't think we ever did. I don't think we ever found Leon. Was it Leon? I don't remember. We're having a fun dance party, though. Who is Firion dancing with? Is that... Oh, that's Maria. Okay. Wait, where's Guy? Oh, did they let Guy out of this? What, is Guy too dumb to know how to dance? With his, like, five intelligence? My ladies, my lords, but the Dark Knight Leon has declared himself Emperor. Oh, that was Leon, huh? He's reorganized the Palamessian Empire. He'll send troops. He'll he'll slaughter us all. Ugh. Oh, dang. He dead. It can't be. Leon. I'm... I'm gonna be honest, straight up, I did not know that. <laughs> I was only bringing it up because I like, it literally just came to me. I was like, wait a second. We literally have not done that. Uh, like, we haven't seen him at all. Uh, cool. Uh, Hilda. Leon, the Dark Knight? But he was your friend, your brother. I'll go to him. I'll make him understand. He must be under the spell of the Emperor. I know it. If he's ascended the Emperor's throne, what place it could be? Palamessia. Ooh, Palamessia. 
Casa Palamasi has a fortress situated high in the mountains. It cannot be approached on foot. Okay. Well. See you guys later. That's, I mean, that's really all there is to it. Um, I'll take a quick moment here. I'll take a look at our equipment, see if we have anything better. So I don't think sword-wise we have anything better. Field-wise, I think it's all just resistances. Um, well, I mean, I know Therian is mostly equipped up. Especially if the others are equipped up. Ice bow, it's like the only bow we have. We have us and thin bows, I guess. Uh, she can keep the evasion, that's fine. Uh, unless it's more magic defense, but it also gives the plus evasion. For the black card, doesn't it? Wait. Oh no, it gives you spirit plus 10. That's right! Uh, we'll keep the spirit plus 10 since she's primarily here to be a healer. Uh, we're gonna keep the power stuff on you. Well, like, we could equip him with better armor, but honestly, he's got so much health, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Then you can keep the, the defense. Let me make sure I didn't pick up anything better in the Cyclone. Alright, do I give him double lance? Oh. I probably should upgrade to Ice Lance, though. Well, so that is a better lands. Alright. Cool. We are all itemed up. That's... I mean, that's it. For that section. Uh... We're in an odd position here. Wait, we have an hour left today. Um, and we're kind of like, like there's only one thing left. Well, there's two things left, right? We've got the castle, then there's one thing after the castle. Well, um, and I don't know. I feel like we probably have enough content between those two to make it just one story. Like enough stuff. Right? There's probably enough left in this game to do that. Which is making me want to do that. Um, I guess I'll get this somewhat started. Alright, we gotta do a couple things anyways, kind of leading into it, so let's do that. Um. Whew. That cyclone really did it. Now we're on me back in Tulum. Yeah, that funny isn't taking too kind of get moving around. What are you dead? You're gonna die? Suit okay? Yeah, I'm a mess, is what I am. But my airship made it through without a scratch. I'm gonna lend it to you. That's lend, you hear? I'll be wander. Back. Let me take good care of her. Sid? Sid, no, hold on! No! Not Sid! Hi, Paul. That was his dying wish, you know. He, he knew he was dying, but he was ready. He planned on giving you the airship when, it was, when his time came. He loved that ship with all his heart, and he entrusted it to you. Think about that. Oh, I did. Alright, well. We now officially own the airship. It's ours. He gave it to us. That's our airship. We have it. Cool. 
cutscene. Did not expect a cutscene. Oh, it's probably showing me where the castle is. Oh, no, it's where the airship is. Okay. That's ours now. We own that. Uh, we'll go get the airship. That seems fair, right? We won't go all the way through it. Uh, I guess we do some spell grinding stuff. All right? Continue to boost Ultima. That's probably not a bad idea. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> I did not expect that. Wow. Oh, that's right, oh, that's right, that's the lake, yeah. Beee! Oh. That's okay. I don't know, I think it's probably a decent amount of time just to get over there. Just with all the combats we'll have to deal with. So. Man, Guy is approaching 13 on his axes. That's pretty crazy. Oh. Well. We got here much faster than I expected. I won't lie. Dang. That actually wasn't bad. That AoE drain, like that was actually pretty, pretty solid. Honestly, now that we're like approaching the end too, like... There's not really a whole lot left to do. We got a whole bunch of tones there. Uh, there's nothing anything we really need that we don't already have a bunch of. Oh yeah, we never rested. Uh, we'll just cottage. It's fine. I know I just healed people, but it's it's fine. It's it's for the uh, the cure progress, anyways. That's gonna be a fun thing to just boost forever. Oh boy! All right. Um, I'm gonna call it here. A little, little on the early side. I mean, I guess we could like do something else briefly. I mean, we could go we'll look through some of the stuff in this pants. Uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll call it there. Seems like a good time, right? It's a good place to end, I think, right? We got the airship we're right in front of it. We're ready to take off. Um, I mean, we're literally just gonna go straight to the castle, probably. There's a couple of things we gotta pick up there. Uh, we gotta get the chests. And then there are some encounters in the castle that we'll want to make sure we do, but we'll probably be good on that. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't be. I'll take a quick moment to look at the bestiary. Um, I'm also going to resave it just in case right now, and then I will go take a quick look at our bestiary. I know none of this is on screen. That is okay. It doesn't matter. 97 out of 128. Um, and we have one, two, three, four new ones being added right now. Once we get to the, the dungeon, um, plus any extras that aren't a part of the, the missables list. And then, of course, the boss. Uh, and then we have one final section. Which will probably be pretty rough, honestly. Um, but it's going to be a lot of stuff. It's, I mean, that last dungeon, you know what? Hmm. That last dungeon might be pretty long. Let me... Let me see how long it is. Because that last one is like really long. You know, we might. It might be best to actually keep going a little bit. Uh. Um. 
Okay, it's not... It's not any longer than any other ones, it doesn't look like. Yeah, what is that? Okay, that's... I mean, it is longer than the other ones, but... I don't know, we might, end, we might end up just going a little over when we do that on Tuesday. That's fine, because that's what we'll be doing. We'll be doing it Tuesday. Um, I don't think we'll jump right into three, maybe, you will. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Because um, I have been enjoying going through these. Because they're fun. They're really fun. I do enjoy them. They're they're quite enjoyable games. Uh, I'm just going to really quickly get off of this music before it is a problem. There we go. Um, I really liked the... Yeah, that. I like that one. The tower. That was a really cool song. Um, I'll just play that. But, um... Yeah, like, I don't know. We're... I mean, we're very close to the game here, right? Literally, we do the castle, and then there's, like, two more dungeons? And that's it? Straight up? And then we're done. Um, as far as, like, 100% of the achievements goes... Obviously, all of the bestiary and chest stuff is just kind of going to get wrapped up in that final dungeon, more than likely. Um, there is one or two things that we have to do really quickly as well. And then we should get all of the locations once we enter the final dungeon. And as far as... Getting a weapon or a skill to level 16. That's just gonna... That's just a grind, right? And again, I will probably just do that on my own time. Once we've beaten the game, I'll make a separate... Like, I'll, I'll make sure I make a, a second save before going into the final dungeon. And then I can just run around and spam magic and hop in the airship and go buy, like, 15 tents and just mash, probably cure over and over and over again until it's leveled up. Because Cure just seems like it'll be probably the easiest one to get leveled that way. Because so I can just keep doing it. Um... Oh my god. Pickups. Jeez. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna go look through that new book. Fizzband's Dragon stuff. It looks pretty cool. Um, you know, the Strixhaven stuff is coming soon, like in like a month or two. Um, I believe. It, oh, December 7th, wow. Okay. Which I actually, I don't know, I know some people have opinions uh, about the MTG stuff being added to D&D. &D. I think it's fine. I actually don't mind it that much. MTG does have some pretty cool lore, so I think it's it's cool to see more of it um, and be able to experience it, especially for people that do care about MTG lore. I don't care too much. Uh, I know some pretty like surface level stuff. Just because I I do, because I hear about it from people from time to time, um, and it's it seems cool. Like I'm sure it's great. Um, so I got nothing against it. But yeah, um, that's all I got for for today. I know we're stopping pretty early, actually. Compared to normal. Normally we stop. Well, actually we're not that far off. Uh, but we're starting. We are we're not starting. We are stopping relatively early here though. Um well, we got through two two relatively important sections to the game. Uh and we have two more, which are the final two. So we'll get through that. We'll have a couple of crazy boss fights to do. Some big dungeons to explore. Uh, we'll be on our way. And hopefully getting through everything that exists in, in the game. Right? So, uh, yeah. As far as the normal, the normal, the normal spiel, the normal stuff, right? Don't know. Spods. They exist. They're there. There are, there's links. Uh, exclamation by Bods. Also a couple spots below and, and whatnot. Um, we'll pull up the channel. It's just the YouTube channel with all the VODs. Uh, 12 p.m. EST is when they all go up the next day. Always. Eastern Standard Time. Um, 
And that's... That's that. Um, it's lot, there's a lot there. You wanna, you wanna catch up or, or watch other things? There's, there's plenty, plenty of, of content then. Um, or there. Like I said, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about making some more recorded content again. Um, I don't know what I would do. I mean, honestly, I was thinking about uh, Divinity, and I was like, do I really want to stream Divinity if I were to play it again after I beat this run? And do something, like, interesting. Uh, and I don't I don't know if I, I would want to stream it. I feel like there's just so much time spent doing nothing, at least for me, in Divinity. Granted, because it's essentially a, like an actual like, real first playthrough because i've started it and stopped it so many times um i'm constantly like exploring stuff and trying to figure out what things are and, and how it all all that stuff um right so i'm kind of learning as i go uh, obviously a second playthrough would be a little bit more directed um but i'm also not using really any guides unless i'm completely lost or like can't remember something um, in my personal playthrough of it, but I don't know. That's again just because there's so much nothing going on. It, I feel like it would be more beneficial to have it cut up a lot more. And I mean, you know, these games are the same way too. Like, there's a whole lot of nothing. Right? There's a whole lot of just point A to point B with like 50 fights in between. You know, but I don't think it's as big of a deal. But I don't know. Uh. I'll, I'll keep thinking about it. I might, but I have a little bit more, more time on my plate, and I'm not actively being drowned in classes. I mean, this week has been relatively light, but still. Um, that's that's all I got, as I've said. Uh, so we'll keep it rocking. There won't be anything on the weekends, unfortunately. Um, I'm busy, so I won't be. Uh, doing any extra, no fighting games, unfortunately. Um, but going into next week, right, Monday, as long as there aren't any problems again, uh, we should have normally scheduled D&D rocking and rolling. And then Tuesday, we'll probably finish this game. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I might just take us a small little little break to play some Guilty Gear or something. Um, or or just do something else. You know? Just do something weird. Like PC Building Simulator. <laughs> uh, though I have to do some setting management in that game because of uh, I have my own like personal music in there. Uh, not that I've made, but like my personal like library of music. I've got some stuff in there. Um, and that would be a big copyright nightmare. So, but I digress. Right? Um, so, we'll, we'll finish the game on Tuesday. It'll be a great time. So, until then.